Did you ever wonder what is so special about the logos of popular brands such as VIO, NBC, Amazon or our famous chocolate Toblerone? If not, then watch this video till the end. There is a field in social sciences called semiotics. This field aims at producing and communicating meanings behind signs, symbols, allegories, and metaphors. This communication could be in the form of linguistics or non-linguistics. There are multiple applications of this field of which one is designing logos for brands and companies. So without further delay, let's take example of four such logos which represent and explain the mission statement or vision of a company or a brand. The first one is Amazon. You must have noticed an arrow in the logo of Amazon. And this arrow represents a smile that Amazon wishes for each of its customers to experience while shopping at Amazon. But this arrow is not placed randomly. Very thoughtfully, this arrow starts from the letter E and ends on letter Z, which represents that a customer would find everything what we metaphorically call E to Z while shopping at Amazon. The second logo is that of chocolate Toblerone. I know we all love this chocolate, but have we ever noticed the packaging of this chocolate? And what if I tell you that there is a bear hidden inside the logo of Toblerone? The chocolate Toblerone was produced by Theodore Tobler and his cousin Amin Bauman and that explains the name Toblerone in 1908 in Bonn, that's a city in Switzerland. Because of the famous mountain of Switzerland, the chocolate comes in triangular shape. If you see very keenly in the logo, there is in the middle there is a bear and that bear represents the burnt city because Bern in Switzerland is popular as a city of where. The third one is VEIO. This is a Japanese manufacturer which produces smartphones and personal computers. The logo of VEIO is very simple and it expels out the letters which is VEIO. But the two letters V and A represents an analog wave whereas the letters I and O represents digital binary code. Some people also think that the name BIO sounds very familiar to the word bio, which literally means life and it denotes companies' future evaluation and flourishing future. Some people think that BIO is coming from the word violet, which is a purple color, and that is a reason that a lot of appliances that BIO produced in the past had purple color. I think this is the beauty of semiotics, that you can play around the names, symbols, you can give your own interpretations to varying things. Let's take the fourth and the last example of a logo. This is NBC logo. And this one is my favorite because of its comprehensiveness and simplicity. The national broadcasting company, NBC, is an American English language commercial terrestrial radio and television network. The company was established in 1926 and its logo kept changing until 1986 when there was a peacock added to the logo. The addition of a brightly hued peacock in the logo of NBC differentiated this company from the other broadcasting companies which were still producing projections in black and white back in 1980s. Also, if you observe very keenly, the face of the peacock is facing right side, which shows forward sightedness of the company. Also, the six colors in the feathers of the peacock on one hand represents three primary, three secondary colors on RYB palette, but on the other hand, it represents the six divisions on which the company is working. Well, 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 so isn't it so much fun designing logos and the field of semiotics? What makes it interesting to me personally is the room in which you can use anything like alphabet, colors, um, sign language, letters, symbols, metaphors, anything to explain the bigger concepts and the larger concepts in very simple yet beautiful ways. If you think this is something that interests you, 
and I suggest that have a sneak peek, explore logos of other brands or companies to further develop the sense of semiotics, but at the same time, create a logo for your own assignment or a project that you're working with within a team or for your own self. With this, I'm signing off right now, but stay well, maintain social distance, and make the best use of your time.